kings and queens welcome back to my channel thanks for coming to watch yet another video if you're here for the first time please remember to click that subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you can get an email every time i release a video all right guys um just a little disclaimer i'm actually standing outside so if you hear two kiara and two yang yang back pass pardon me inside is a very hot and i don't have ac and i would not like to see what my light bill would look like if i did have ac because it would have run all day but yeah guys so let's get into what we're here for this video is about a little quick run that i made to ocho rios um i was going to visit some family members so i did a quick stay at mystic ridge I went to mainland China to have some food and I also went to Evita's. So stay tuned to find out what it was like and also... <laughs> tuned to see what things are like outside now um during covid what are some of the protocols when it comes on to maybe staying at a hotel or you know going to a restaurant and everything all right all right guys so basically when you come off the highway and you're going into Ocherios is one straight drive to mystic ridge so you would pass um duns river little duns river you would pass mystic mountains you'd pass the turn off to evitas as well so now we're almost there just keep a lookout on the right hand side um, you will see a yellow sign with red and green writing that says Mystic Ridge. Alright, it's near to the Ruby's gas station. So you don't go all the way down to the Ruby's gas station. It's really and truly just before you have to go into that little roundabout. Alright, and then once you get there, um, the security at the gate stops you and they ask you what's your name, then they take down your license plate number. So after the security check, we drive up a little hill and then we turn right to get to the reception area. Um, we were a bit late to check in, so they had already closed off, but somebody was there waiting on us to check us in and they greeted us. Customer service was good. So first thing first, you have to sanitize your hands, so all parties have to sanitize, all parties have to do a temperature check. This guy made it all funny, the journey through it all, right up until he showed us the room and everything. He was good, customer service was really good, because even before I got there, I was sending some emails back and forth and they answered me every time. So yeah. yeah we'll have that. Now onto the room we descend. So just sit back and relax and watch the journey. I had the baby by the way. People, the room was so far away, but I'm telling you, it was like exercise. Mm -hmm. When I got there, I had um, short of breath and everything, or maybe I just me lazy. But yeah, it was a good little close? walk. It doesn't go.
all the way at the top. Okay. Come here a few times, you know. Maybe like two or three times. One time them they keep on silent headphone party. Yeah. <laughs> More scared. All right, guys, so taking you outside to check out the view that we have from the room, seeing that it's so high. But first, I have to inspect for any lizards, anything that crawls, flies, breathes, and doesn't look human. Coast is clear, so now we're going to take a look at the view that we have from the room. Of course, you won't have this um, view if you're at um, ground floor. So good, not for a vacation, but quick night stay, only 79 US and breakfast is included. So mainland China was the next stop for the night. We just went there for some takeout. They had different areas in which you could sit. This is like indoors where there's AC. Then they had like a bar and then they had like two other outdoors area. Um, the menu was just as diverse as the different seating areas. They had Indian cuisine, Jamaican cuisine and Chinese. The appetizers looked like ranged from soup to salad, vegetarian food as well. Yeah, so it was very diverse. Customer service was good. They were trying to get us in to dine. But because at the time that we got there and you know the whole COVID-19 procedure. Yeah, so we ordered chicken in sweet corn soup, um kung pao chicken. I ordered a side of naan from the Indian menu. So the food was really good and everything guys. So it's you could try anything from that menu at mainland China. So let me set the tone for Evita's. I never liked the customer service. I don't know if they were short staff or something because of COVID. Um, when I just got there, I got a good little vibe, you know. You turn in, drive up a little hill, park. You could tell right away that the ambience is good when you got there. There was a little waterfall at the front. Um, it was decorated with um, pepper lights. 
you walk in i couldn't video much guys because the ambience was like candlelights and stuff like that um the menu is mainly italian food where is italian food overall mixed with like jamaican cuisine the food overall looked good when we got it but to me it never tastes as nice you know it never popped plus side though they had like a little live singer there and he was playing all sorts of jamaican songs because they were celebrating independence weekend but if you had a better experience at evita's comment down below and let me know all in all guys it was a good weekend thanks for watching my video again don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and comment where you guys see fit bye